So my name is Ami Karnik. I'm a co-founder at Azoi Inc. Uh, we make personal health trackers. Our first product is Keto Plus, which is a health tracker uh, that comes in the form of an iPhone case. Um, and it measures five parameters, which is blood oxygen saturation, respiration rate, ECG, heart rate, and your skin temperature. Uh, basically, it comes in a modular format so that it can be used as a standalone device or uh, as a case with your iPhone. It also works for Android just as well. There is an app that can be downloaded uh, online and it is uh, selling at the moment in the UK at azoi.com, that's A-Z-O-I.com for 99 pounds. Uh, so as a cover, yes, it can only be used uh, with iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Uh, however, it works just as well as a standalone device uh, and with Android as well. So if you don't want to use it as a cover, that's possible as well. So it's all proprietary technology. That's our technology that's been developed. It's our algorithms uh, that are powering all of it. So basically, if you put it on your iPhone like this, uh, what you would do is you would put your fingers like this, uh, hold it very lightly uh, for 30 seconds, uh, and it will give you your data in 30 seconds in the form of a report. Right, so the sensors are basically, you have two electrode sensors, an SpO2 sensor and a skin temperature sensor. Um, so these measure your ECG uh, and derive from that the heart rate and respiration rate and the SpO2 sensor measures your blood oxygen saturation level. Yeah, so they're clinically accurate. Uh, we have benchmarked everything to CE medical standards and FDA. Uh, and each packaging will come with a very detailed view of the accuracy ranges for each parameter. So the technology, so the technology has gone through CE medical approval. This particular form factor is not uh, CE medical, uh, but the technology is it's just a matter of the process of going through the approval. So we spent about uh, two years on developing the technology. Uh, we did kind of unveil the technology about two years ago. Um, to the public to see what kind of a demand there was. We, we, didn't, we didn't want to make a product that nobody wanted. Uh, so we used that prototype then. After that, we raised some money uh, and we used that to go from a prototype stage to a product that can be brought into the market and to set up our manufacturing process. And this is a product that has come out.